Andy, thanks very much for joining us. In terms of the uh, the outlook for uh, for the markets, I suppose, what are you seeing in terms of the the sectors? So Europa's particular favourite sector at the moment, and it's not just at the moment, it's over a 10-year period, is residential. So we've been turning out beds of one sort or another for quite a while now and are accelerating that uh, through the pandemic. So we've done, in 2021, acquisitions in Copenhagen, bought five PRS buildings for my core fund, and they've been performing very well. Berlin is another one on our on our radar. We've done a couple of deals there for the value add fund in PRS sector. And perhaps most interestingly, a, a new thing for us is senior living. So my colleagues in the value add funds have acquired a building uh, just outside Copenhagen um, with a, an operator to do some senior living. And I think that's a sector that is really moving up the uh, the priority list, even for core investors who are under pressure to produce more return than regular residential or regular logistics can give these days. Um, and are you focusing on that um, in the Nordics or is that a sort of pan-European strategy where you'll be looking for, for other opportunities in other countries as well? Rather than specific geographies, although that does play a role, we, we like to measure urbanization. It's all about having the good local partner in these sectors. So residential is, is a very local business. And in both Copenhagen and in Berlin, we have out and out specialists in resi, and we feel very comfortable investing alongside them. And in terms of um, some of the other sectors, um, Andy, what, what are you seeing in terms of, of retail, for example? So retail's still very challenged. The risk-adjusted returns, certainly for a core fund, are not there yet. Uh, it's more of a value-add play, some would argue, even opportunistic. But um, there's basically there's shopping centres and there's the rest. And those pieces of retail that have roofs on and feel perhaps a little COVID insecure, they're probably the worst off. Grocery retail, probably the best off. So you know, retail famously the sick man of real estate at the moment but um that's basically the shopping center sector which is an intensive care where things like grocery retail aren't, aren't really in hospital at all um, and it, does that mean also andy that in terms of um things like i suppose uh, retail parks those kinds of things are are also operating in a different way in some ways to the shopping center side yeah i mean retail parks can be interesting, particularly where they're food anchored. I think you know, the German model of Fachmarktzentrum, I think, is interesting and is proving liquid when things come out for sale. Um, the non-food anchored retail parks, more questionable. Great. Really interesting to catch up, Andy. Thanks for sharing your views. Pleasure.